G'day legends, welcome back to another episode of The Hungry Hunter. Today we're cooking a steamed snapper with a side of seared asparagus and that's going to be all wrapped together with a beautiful salsa verde which goes perfectly and complements this fish dish. So without further ado, we'll get into it. Food is so much more than just what you put in your mouth. It's a connection to both the land and the sea and the animals we hunted to acquire it. This show is dedicated to sharing that lifestyle with you. We'll be sharing simple tips and tricks as well as our favourite recipes for wild game and seafood feasts. Cooking both out in the field and in the comforts of our kitchen at home. Welcome to Hungry Hunter. This season of Hungry Hunter is proudly supported by Dog and Gun Coffee, makers of bloody good coffee ready for adventure. So today's dish has three main components. Uh, the first being the steam snapper, which we're going to start off with. What we'll do is we've got some sliced lemon that's pretty thin as you can see. We're just going to put this in the body cavity of the snapper. About three or four should fit and that should be nice and that will basically just get that lemon flavour infusing while the fish steams. What we've also got is some thyme. This is dried, fresh will do as well, but we're going to just put that in the body cavity as well and do a light sprinkling on top. We'll do some salt and pepper as well. Beautiful, and that's our little snapper, perfect, ready for the pan to go on steaming. So we'll pop that on now and then continue with the dish. So that snapper's on now, it's steaming away. What we're gonna do is start with the second component and that's the seed asparagus. First, we're just gonna drop it in a hot pan of boiling water. We'll give it about a minute, strain it, and then we'll do the rest of it. What I'm gonna do in the meantime, we've got about a minute spare. I'm just gonna add all the ingredients for the salsa verde into the mortar and pestle. So first, we're gonna start off with about a cup of basil. That goes in there just like that. We've got about the same parsley, cup of parsley. We've got some lemon juice. Some capers, half of the pine nuts, some garlic, the rest of our pepper and a tiny bit of salt. So that's everything in there for our salsa verde. We'll go and grab the asparagus off the heat and we'll come back and give that a good mixing. So this asparagus has been on for about a minute, no more. Um, we'll take these off, we'll give them a good strain and then we're just going to let them sit there until we're ready later on. They'll only need a quick minute or so to sear with a bit of oil and some garlic to sort of revamp all those flavours. That snapper's flesh is starting to turn nice and white. You'll see that's going to flake away beautifully from the frame. Um, but yeah, we'll give this a good old mixing. I'm just going to start by giving it a good beating. So you can start to see there that the basil and the parsley are sort of mixing, they're crushed down, they've lost a little bit of their volume. I'm going to start to just incorporate a little bit of the oil and then we'll keep mixing. Overall, you'll probably be using about a quarter to half a cup for this much salsa verde. At this point, I'm just going to give it a little taste and just see sort of what flavours we've got going on. That's beautiful, you can taste the lemon, there's a basil in there which is going to go perfectly with the fish. I'm pretty happy with that, it's got just enough salt and pepper and a bit of kick. So I'm going to just keep going. Alrighty, so I've been working that salsa verde now for probably about a minute. Um, putting a bit of muscle work into it and that's sort of the consistency that I'm going for. As you can see it's sort of nice and smooth, there's a good texture to there the sauce and that's sort of runny enough that I'll be able to drizzle it over the fish and the asparagus later on to finish everything and wrap it all together. So for now I'm just going to get a hot pan going in the background because that's what we're going to use to sear this asparagus. Add a little bit of oil and what we're going to be doing is just adding our asparagus. As you can see it's already cooked. Um, so what we're doing is not trying to cook it anymore, it's just incorporate this, get the garlic on it, give it a bit of aromatic and fragrance. We're going to add a little pinch of salt and sort of just toss that around the pan sort of give it that searing sort of char grill flavour. As soon as that garlic sort of starts to brown, we'll turn it off and we'll let it sit. So this is looking good, that garlic's really starting to smell now. Um, as you can see, the snapper in the background is cooking away nicely. There's only a couple of minutes left of that, so everything's sort of going to be finishing up around the same time. What we'll do is when these are done, we'll take them back over and we'll plate up. So that's our three components done, so what I'm going to do is go and grab the snapper off the pan and plate up. To start plating up, I'm going to grab some asparagus and just lay these down. 
So next I'm just going to grab some of our snapper. It's being quite delicate as it should be ready to fall apart. I'm just going to lay that across. Next we'll grab our salsa verde. Not too much as it's quite strong. And we're just going to put that on top and give it a good smear. Some pine nuts. And there you have it. That's my pan steamed snapper with a side of seared asparagus and salsa verde.